don't know if you guys can tell, but they paved our streets this morning, so they're nice and flat. We've had, like, our whole community has been unpaved for a while. Uh, the community is less than two years old. You'd think they would have paved a little sooner than that. We've been here for a year. So we moved in here after they started. But, um, I guess because they just finished building a few months ago, like, all the way the last final row of our community. So, that's that. But it's so shiny and pretty and nice. And they've been working on the sidewalks a lot to make sure they're, like, perfect. Nail. drawer dividers are coming. I need more drawer, um, not drawer dividers, closet dividers. I'll show you guys the organization. I showed Snap, um, Snapchat, doesn't say Snap fam. I showed them real time, but I gotta show you guys. I finally got around to fixing the closets, so, or closet. I'm pretty proud of myself. We just went grocery shopping like the past two days. We got like our avocados, our fruits, you know, the perishables. And then we got some Kung Fu tea. I got a lychee punch with extra sweet option. Probably my favorite like fruit tea. Otherwise I like the honey milk green tea. Chris really loves, as you guys may have seen in the New York vlogs, his strawberry lemonade, less ice. That's his thing. Eating low chipotle today because we've been running around with our appointments. I'm also testing some things on my face, which I cannot tell you guys about yet, but looks pretty good on camera. I'm kind of happy about that. Boxes, boxes, boxes. These pile up until Thursday because that's the only day of the week they take boxes. We also got some donuts from the new donut place, Texas Donuts in Centerville, which have the best donuts ever. They are the fluffiest, fluffy, fluffy donuts. It's like Krispy Kreme hot light, but better. And um, we got a bunch of like a whole dozen and they're really affordable. You get like a whole dozen for and like mixed variety. They fill your donuts for you on the spot. Like the fill ones, they have three fill options. They turn it like to the other counter and they fill it with the jam that you want. So that's awesome. Um, so they don't get like hard or anything like that. Um, I think it was like $11 for a full dozen that's like with a few like specialty 50 cent up charges so very reasonable so for this dresser i put in dividers these are the oxo brand and i'll link them off down below these are good just for separating my active wear so i got pants tanks bras and in our closet which i rarely take you guys into this is chris's side his is not color corn or anything yet extra bins cleared up a lot of space up here those are our onesies and our backpacks extra blankets for guests and then bags these are all my shirts and dresses they still need to be organized but these are my jackets the floor space this thing fell on my head the other day um our suitcases go here now you would think i should put this one inside there but my other carry-on is already inside there so this one just stays out Extra storage, these are where my robes go because we usually have a hanging thing here which we're gonna put a new one. Cause the hanging thing was right there before it came like that with the house. And it was just too close to this. So this is what I've been working on. Super organized, which I like. My other dividers, these, they come in a two pack. Um, I had to order more cause I didn't know how many I would need. So I ordered two more rolls, foo. The the the. Did I slur? I slurred really bad. Two more roll no two more rows full enunciate sam get it together okay so chris's jeans go on top these are his like non-jean pants these are his shorts his sweats and then these are our t-shirts there's two stack full so if you guys can see back there those are the colored ones and the all black shirts go on the front because we grab for those the most my going out shirts non-going out like this is like you know the daily daily shirts these are like the i'm going somewhere that I need to dress nicely shirts <laughs> that can't be hung. My jeans, leggings, so there'll be a divider there. And these are my sweats, so chill stays on this side. That's the rule. And then my hoodies, going out pants that can't be hung. And then shorts that are probably only going to be out for summer, but you know, that's how that goes. And then when I swap out the winter clothes, they're right there. This is Chris's guitar. <sighs> but yeah, so purses and stuff are kind of along there. This is a hat too. Face sends over one of their boxes. But generally, the closet is a lot better now. I'm going to move the hanging thing. It's like a, a artsy looking thing that we had for a long time, like over a year, but we never found a place to use it. I'm going to put it here and that's where like my robes will be hung up. But generally, the closet is looking so much 
better. I'm excited to finally have it done. It's been on my to-do list for quite some time. So I'm gonna eat because I'm starving and I haven't really ate much today at all. I've been on like kimchi kick, so I've been eating kimchi with everything. I'm gonna go put kimchi on my Chipotle bowl. I hear Yuna! Hi, baby. Hi, why'd you bring your leash up? Hi, baby. Are you following the camera? Whoa. Hi, baby. You just want to be loved. Okay, let's get to loving. Come here. Look at this happy tail. Oh, I missed you too. Hello. Okay, let's unhook you. Hi, baby. Mm, my baby. Let's go. Mommy's eating. You bothering dad? You know. <laughs> She's like, I'm forcing my way in. It's technically afternoon. It's 12.15 right now. Good afternoon. So we are off to one. I have to go to a laser hair removal appointment. Oh. Real quick, stop by that. I went there yesterday as well, but uh, follow up kind of additional removals. But anyway, we are gonna stop by there because that's in Fairfax on the way to Tyson's because we have to go to our wedding venue, which is in Tyson's. Originally, our wedding venue was in Leesburg, but we ain't going with that one anymore. And I'll talk about that a lot more either in the vlog or. In the Sam says I do stuff, but yeah, so we have a new venue. We have to go drop off some checks. That's always fun, right? That's like the not fun about planning a wedding, dropping off checks. But that comes with the territory, so that's what we're about to do. So got our collars on. It's a collar shirt kind of day. Mainly because our venue has a dress code, so we uh, generally, like, not when it's the wedding, but any other day, there's a dress code, so we have to wear certain things. But in the hills, this is our Tuesday. I feel, I keep feeling like there's something else that's supposed to be happening today. I might, I think I want to get donuts. I think that might be the thing that's in my head. And the donut place that I really like, that just opened, closes at 3. So, we'll see if we make it there. Because I kind of need to go to the mall and look for a dress for our wedding we're attending. This Saturday, we're going to uh, my sister's best friend. She has lots of best friends. Very long, long friendships. Very much not like me. Like her friendships are like over 10 years. But um, so I usually am the makeup artist for a lot of her best friend's weddings. Either some of them are like bridesmaids or the actual bride itself. I don't really freelance myself anymore, but I do it like as like, you know, people who know my sister are just like friends and family and stuff like that. And I'll freelance for them. But yeah, so I'm the makeup artist. It's a three day wedding. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday wedding. Um, and I'm Friday and Saturday's makeup artist. So we are also attending Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think the girl's gonna go to my mom's house to, as I am the makeup artist as well. It's kind of like a lot of craziness going on. But um, my mom's off because me and my sister are both at the wedding. My sister is a bridesmaid. So that's gonna be the upcoming wedding festivities. But because there's multiple days, I need multiple dresses. And certain days are more like conservative than the others. And certain days are more colorful than the others. So it's gonna be like interesting like he's more casual on Saturday and I'm more colorful Saturday and then he's supposed we're both supposed to be more formal on Sunday and we're not gonna make it to the actual ceremony Friday because that's like the only day we have to kind of recoup, regroup not recoup regroup between like the wedding makeup artist stuff and then the kids and then work it's like kind of like gonna be a crazy day but So today's video is actually sponsored by Pets Ad Life and they're an awesome organization, a nonprofit organization that promotes <laughs> the positivity that animals or having animals in your life bring to your life. And I must say I adore this little, not so little one anymore. This is her birthday week. She turned one. Oh, she loves my lip stuff. It's gonna be her first birthday in a few days now. And by the time you see this, I'm gonna upload this on her first birthday. And we're gonna make you something. And I'm gonna take you to get new toys because you are the coolest. I have treats, so she's she's all about it. But she 
is so awesome. We have such a connection because I have, you know, seen the stories and watch the videos of the dogs who understand when you're sad and if anything she is the closest one of my pets i've ever had that understands my emotions so for those who kind of know and i'm sure a lot of you guys can agree because a lot of you have noticed that i'm a lot more cheerful lately and i would say it definitely plays a part with this one because she makes me very happy but as you know chris also makes me very happy generally i'm in a happier place in my life but let's say the days where my anxiety is getting the better of me or my depression is just kicking in some days i don't know why i'm sad and i think that's just kind of part of having anxiety and depression um it's weird because some days i just don't want to get out of bed and i don't know why i'm sad i know i have no reason to be sad i have no reason to feel the way i feel but those days, she's really great because she doesn't leave my side. It's, it's so strange to me, but she hops on the bed just like this in the morning and she'll stand above me if she sees that I'm like having a bad dream or if I'm fussy. She's always there when I am in distress for the most part. She, does, she tries to stay out of it if me and Chris are having an argument. She's like, you know, I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of neutral when it comes to mom and dad. But otherwise, it's just... She's, she's always so sweet like she doesn't you know do too much to the point where she's like in my face and like licking all the time or anything she doesn't like to lick faces but she brings me this company in war with her company and i i love it i i, I don't know how else to describe it except she's so sweet she's gonna hop in and out of this i'm sure because she is food motivated and she wants another treat but those pet owners who feel like a real connection to their dogs i'm sure you can agree that dogs are awesome cats are awesome any type of animal is awesome it doesn't have to be a yuna who's putting her butt to the camera little girl she is the sweetest no matter how big she gets she's still the sweetest. She sits under my desk all day and she she has to be touching me. She has to put a paw on me or she has to, you know, be under my feet. And she's smiling right now because she's getting all the praise in the world. Aren't you? Aren't you? So if you guys are interested in seeing some amazing videos with some amazing pets, please check out the Pets Ad Life channel. I will link them off down below. I love watching animal videos i'm just one of those people and i especially love the like the warm fuzzy feeling that pet videos give me because i don't know like they're just too sweet they just don't belong <laughs> on earth with us sometimes because they are so kind-hearted and they show it in the most special ways she is in no way trained to be like a ptsd or emotional support dog but for me I feel like she gets me and at that same statement so she is my emotional support dog i'm so excited that it's her birthday this week i, I don't want to get emotional about it because i don't know she's she's just she's been too good to me this past year um even when she does bad things she she's such a sweet girl I could explain to you guys how many times I've gotten a paw to the face every time she thinks I'm upset. She's like, Mom, 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 it's okay. Though she doesn't realize her paws aren't the softest thing anymore. I take the kids to like a splash a uh, park that's inside of a rec center um, after this because they've been wanting to go. They've been wanting to go to outside fountain, but we're closer to a rec center one, so we're gonna maybe test that out and see how they enjoy it. There's like little slides and stuff like for their age group, so we're gonna do that. I also went to Walmart specifically to get more of these hottie bites from Oh Snaps. They're just pickles, and this one has like a little bit of a spicy um, taste to it. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too out of this world, but for 75 cents, this and some Ritz crackers are some nice snacks to snack on when you are working. So that's what I got going on right now. Chris has some chips ahoy, chilling for him.
Fruity stuff I like. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough. Too much sprinkle. Too much oh. sprinkle. Okay, wow. It's sprinkly. Uh, sprinkly, for sure. I'm not sure if you don't like so all the sprinkles, but... Mom, you're to be cold. No, it's for you now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Now blow the candle for her. <gasps> Yay! Blow it hard. Oh, Mia. Oh, God, your hair. Blow it. Blow it from over here. Yeah, here, Mia, let me. Oh! Harder. 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 Yeah, I can help. Okay. Are you excited for your birthday, Luna? Don't eat it yet, we need to cut it. No, she can, no, eat, she it can eat it. She's uh, not that sophisticated. Now, now push it to her and say, here you go, Yuna. Tell her to sit. Yuna, sit. Yuna, Yuna. Good girl. Good girl. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I always love the yogurt. She just wants to look it.